Hey, welcome back to another episode of 501 BBQ. Today, we have this awesome looking three pound tomahawk ribeye. Check that thing out. I mean, this thing's gotta be three and a half inches thick. Oh man, that's gonna be good. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna cook on our Weber grill. We're gonna reverse sear. And so we're gonna start it off nice and slow at a low temperature. And then at the end, we're gonna crank up some Royal Oak charcoal that is flaming hot. Put it on there, it's gonna get kissed by them flames, get a good sear, and oh man, it's gonna be awesome. Y'all stick around. The first thing we're gonna to do to this steak is just do a little light trimming. And we're not gonna go crazy with this, but if anything just sticks out to you, we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. So that had some fat there. I'm not worried about this. This isn't for competition. This is for eating. So the one thing we want to do to this bone, they have French this bone and it's cleaned up pretty good. But as you can see, there's still some meat on that. So if you don't take that off while you're cooking, that's just going to burn and it's just not going to be a good presentation. So we're just going to come in here, scrape all that meat off, come in from this side. All right, that looks good to me right there. We've got it cleaned up as good as we're going to do it. So we have this setting on this cooling rack and why we have that is so whenever we season it, we can get some airflow up underneath it where those seasonings can get into the meat and not just sitting on a flat surface here. So the first thing we are going to season with is some blues hog, bold and beefy. We are going to put a pretty generous coating on here this is a big old chunk of meat so it can definitely take it so we're going to get all sides that looks good right there so we're going to let that hang out and kind of soak in and get some moisture pulling out and then we're going to do the other side this has been set in a few minutes. We went ahead and did both sides. And as you can see, it's starting to pull some moisture out. That seasoning is really kind of getting soaked in. So the next thing we're gonna come with is Killer Hog Steak Rub. This has got some awesome flavors to it. And it's a coarse rub. If you've ever seen like McCormick steak seasoning, that's kind of what it looks like. So we're just gonna come in on this side, some of it's gonna fall off, that's all right. We're gonna get this side. We're gonna give it a good pat, and that's just gonna help build that crust with that coarseness that has. So we're gonna give this a flip, and we're gonna come in with the steak rub again. We really like this, so we like to go pretty heavy with it. And once again, this is a really thick steak. And so put the seasoning to it. You're not gonna hurt anything. So we're gonna let this hang out for probably about 45 minutes to an hour. Just kind of chill out, come up to temperature. We did set this out about an hour before we brought it out here. So it's been out for about an hour and 15 minutes right now. So by the time we start cooking it, it'll probably be about two hours that it's just kind of slowly climbing up in temperature so while this is hanging out this is going to give us the perfect chance to get this weber grill fired up all right to get this weber kettle going we're going to use royal oak chef select briquettes to start off our low and slow cook on so we're just going to go ahead and give that a pull let's fill this chimney we're gonna fill this chimney all the way to the top with these briquettes, and then we're gonna take two tumbleweed fire starters, get them going, set this chimney on top, and it'll take about 15, 20 minutes for it to get going. So we're gonna dump this lit charcoal on half of the charcoal grate, and then we're gonna take our intake and set it to where it's about a quarter inch open, just to get a little airflow, but to keep the high heat down. And we're going to stick our grate in, get this lid on, and we'll be ready to cook. All right, this grill is ready to go. We just kind of let it settle down. It's running about 300 degrees. 
the next thing I'm gonna do is I've got a piece of Royal Oak hickory here that I'm just gonna drop right in here on the coals. And then we are gonna take this stake and we've got all our charcoal on this side. We're just gonna lay it right over here on the edge. Got a little sizzle going on. The last thing we're gonna do is we have our chef alarm. I already have it, I don't know if you can see it, but it's set to 105 degrees. That's where we're gonna pull this off to do our last sear. So we're just gonna take our probe and we're just gonna stick it right here in the thickest part, right in the center. And then we are gonna start our timer where we know exactly how long this takes. So the internal of the meat is 51 degrees. So we are just gonna set that over here on the side, hang that wire out. Since our fire is over here, we're gonna put our exhaust over the stake where it draws the heat out over it. And so about every 15 minutes, we're probably gonna rotate, flip the stake where we get an even cook on it. So y'all stick around and we'll come back after 15 minutes. All right, we've hit our first 15 minutes. As you can see, maybe, we've got some good smoke coming out of here. So all we're gonna do, hang my lid there. We're gonna pull our probe. We're gonna give this thing a flip. We're gonna stick our probe right back in. We're gonna get the lid on. We have been another 15 minutes, so we have gone 30 minutes total. As you can see, we're getting some awesome color on this thing. Our bone is starting to get a little dark. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna pull this probe and we're just gonna take us a piece of foil and give it a nice little wrap. If you're not worried about presentation, don't worry about it. We're gonna stick this probe, well, we're gonna give it a flip, and we're gonna stick this probe right back in, and we have a half a stick of butter and just a little saucepan that we can put in the grill. So we're gonna set this in, but first, I'm just gonna add a little more black pepper to it. Just to spice it up a little more. Looks good to me. We're just going to set that in right there and it'll just start melting down. So we're going to get this lid back on and we won't bore you with the flip. So we'll come back to you whenever it hits 105 degrees internal. As you can hear, our alarm is going off. It's starting to climb pretty good. It's at 106 right now. So we're going to shut that off. So it's been going for 52 minutes. So we are going to take our butter, we'll take our probe out, but we're gonna take our butter that we've had warming up in here and we're gonna hit this side. It's looking really good. And we're gonna give it a flip and we're just gonna hit it with some of that peppered butter on that side. All right, we're going to call that good. So we've got us a little pan just with a rack right here. And so we're just going to set that on there. And we're just going to lay a piece of foil over it. And we'll show you how we're going to stoke this fire for the finishing sear. All right, so as you can see, our briquettes have burnt down a little bit. So to get this fire going the way we want it, we're just going to kind of spread these out a little bit. And so we have us a bag of the Royal Oak lump charcoal this time. This is gonna get lit a lot faster. It gets hotter. And so we're just gonna pull that off, set that up there. And we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this on top. That looks good right there. The next thing we're going to do is open that all the way up. We want that airflow just coming through now. And so we're going to leave the lid off 
That way it ain't gonna take it probably five, 10 minutes to get going. So we'll go ahead and put our rack back on before it gets too hot to handle. And so as soon as that gets to where we want it, we will come back to y'all and we'll make this steak scream. All right, this Royal Oak lump charcoal got hot in a hurry. So we put the lid on just to calm it down a little bit, but now we're gonna leave the lid off. But I want you to see this ribeye sitting at 118 degrees. What did we pull it off at? 106. So that carryover, you gotta take in a, remember the carryover, because it is gonna continue to go up. So we are shooting for 125 to 130 degrees internal. So that's why we pulled it off so early. So we've got a good, good hot bed of coals here. So we are gonna pull this probe and we are gonna hit one more time on this side with our butter mixture before it hits the flames. So we are going to leave the lid off where our cooking process is a lot slower. So here we go. Make sure you're wearing some good gloves. Burger King don't have anything on this flame kissed. So we're going to let this go for probably a minute and then we're going to give it a flip. All right, we've been right at a minute, so we're gonna give this a flip. Boy, look at that sizzle go on. I don't know how well you can see that in our awesome outdoor studio lighting here, but it is looking awesome. So we're gonna let this roll another minute and we'll see where it's at. All right, it's been another minute. So if you can tell, we've still only got charcoal on half of the cooking area. So the reason I did that is so we can move this over here. We can take our thermopin and we have a spot where we can check our temperature. Let's get it right in the middle. So we're at 121. So we're gonna go, we're gonna flip it and go right back on there. Here we go for about another probably 30 seconds this time, so we'll come back to you whenever this thing. All right, this tomahawk ribeye is done. We've got it on the board. We did have a little battery in the camera malfunction, and I'm not sure yet if our part saved. Just in case, it was reading about 123 degrees the last time we were searing it. And so what I did was moved it to the indirect side, put the lid on and let it climb on up a few degrees. We pulled it, I think it was 126 degrees and then the camera went down. So I'm not sure if it saved or what. So let's get into this thing. Check that out, it's looking good. We got a nice sear, had a high, high heat right at the end. All right, just to recap a little bit of what we did, we started with a three pound tomahawk ribeye, massive thing. We seasoned it up with some blues hog, bold and beefy, and some killer hog steak rub. We seasoned it pretty heavy for this size of a steak. And we cooked on the Weber 22 and a half inch kettle we started off with Royal Oak briquettes and we did one Weber chimney full and made a indirect fire. So fire on one side, none on the other. And we put this ribeye on the side with no coals. We stuck our chef alarm from Thermopin, Thermoworks, I'm not gonna edit that out. So Thermoworks. And so we set it for 105 degrees. And so every 15 minutes we flipped it, flipped it. And then once it reached 105, we pulled it off and we just kind of tinted it with full. And then we took Royal Oak lump and poured in where it would get good and hot. And then that's how we did our last sear on it. And so it was flames coming up. It was awesome. And it made this thing look awesome. 
So without further ado, well, we're gonna cut into this thing. All we're gonna do is follow this bone down. There we go, we're gonna set that. I'm gonna nibble on that. So here's where we had it probed. And so I'm just gonna cut right there. Looks good. Good moisture, tons of moisture coming out. So I'm going to cut off this end. We're just going to start cutting a few thin slices. Cut one and a half. I've been waiting an hour and a half for this. Wow, that thing is amazing. All the juices in there, it's tender from being cooked slow in the beginning. All that seasoning just gives it an awesome flavor. That flame kissed at the end, got that little crunch from all these seasonings and the flames. I'm tickled with it. I can't wait to get the rest inside and eat. But if you like what we're doing here at 501 BBQ, be sure to subscribe to our channel leave some comments down in the comment section below we're going to leave everything we did in the description so if you have any questions about it leave us a comment send us a message on facebook or instagram and we'll answer them all y'all join us next time thanks for watching